Now, in 2007, the crime was working on a tugboat when a freak accident killed his co-worker and almost severed his leg. People who know him said he lived with pain and had a hard time finding work ever since. Kick on Richard Kim reports on what some believe was the turning point in his life. In 2007, Salter Cry was seriously injured in a tugboat accident that killed a close friend and nearly severed his leg. In the course of mooring it, a cable came loose and snapped across the deck. It tragically killed the female deck end and wounded Mr. Scott very badly. Don Ashley owns the Pierpoint Landing Charter Operation in Long Beach, where Decry was a deckhand and worked his way up to captain years ago before the accident. Ashley has known Decry since he was 11 years old and went to school with his parents. He watched as Decry was taken into custody Wednesday, moments after police say he walked into a Seal Beach salon and opened fire. I'm trying to figure out what's causing the snap. He was not that bad of a person. A psychiatrist told the court during a custody hearing that Decry had been diagnosed with post traumatic stress disorder as a result of the accident. He had terrible, long occurring problems with the leg right up to the very, very end. He was still under a lot of pain. This is the way most of the world now sees 42 year old Scott Decry, a disheveled and emotionless murder suspect. But his former boss remembers him differently. Good big man, good surfer, very outdoorsy person. Excellent worker. Don Ashley feels for the innocent people lost and for Decry. Hope that he gets whatever help that he needs one way or the other. And hope that there's peace and um, somebody steps forward to take care of the son. Don Ashley says Decry worked for him for over 10 years and was well loved by his colleagues and passengers. He says he never could have imagined this tragedy. Reporting from Huntington Beach, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. And the KCAL 9 will have continuing coverage of the Salon Massacre story coming at 8.15. We'll hear from the attorney who represented Michelle Fortier in the couple's bitter child custody battle. Our other top story tonight, more extreme heat today for the second day in a row. Temperatures in Hermosa Beach hit below 80 today. That's better than a lot of parts of the uh, southland. But it's also hotter than uh, usual for sidewalk guitarists and everybody else out there. Meteorologists have been talking to tell us that any more records fell today. Uh, well, they sure did, share, and so we're going to have those records coming up for you in just a minute. But first, I want to take you outside to Santa Monica this evening. We are dealing with mostly clear conditions at the coast, but we 